Welcome to a day in my life. You're in the car, D. Yes. Um, the last two days I've had to go help Steve at the office. His secretary had a little bit of a family emergency. She should be back tomorrow. So I went in yesterday for a couple hours. Going in today. I said to him, I'm not answering the phone. I will sit at the desk and greet people when they come in, but I'm not answering the phone. I bought some computer work to do. I'm going to stop at Duncan and get a green tea. And uh, I already had breakfast, so I will insert the breakfast clip after this one because I was I was going to show you me first thing, but yeah, I wasn't looking really. So I don't I don't like to film myself unless we're doing like a makeup tutorial or skincare because yeah, I look bad this morning. I look bad. Yeah, it was I don't know the hair was it was just bad. I was like going. Ugh. I don't even want to look at myself. I'm like going. Oh, but I just tried a new. Um, serum um i had got in a subscription box last year i was getting the subscription box i can't remember the name of it i really liked it um kinder it was called, or kinder i think it was kinder k-i-n-d-e-r it is a um skincare subscription box and it's vegan cruelty free it's like all that it's got a lot of really nice products and somebody had recommended it to me and i signed on for a three month um problem is I just don't go through that much skincare to get it you know it wasn't terribly overpriced um, I don't and I think one of the products was Osea which is a really high-end expensive brand and so I'm going trying to like I said that's why I love those kind of boxes because for a really affordable price you could try a lot of higher-end skincare and makeup that you probably wouldn't want to spend the money on like even like FabFitFun that I did last week um, I gave you the retail prices of those products and I'm not spending unless I know I really like it or it works or it does what it says it does. So I feel like they, that is, you know, why they're popular. I think for, like I said, I think they run this oh, fat fit fun. I think is $60. I don't remember what the kinder was. I did. If you go to my other channel, I don't think it was this channel. I think it was discoveries with D. I did a few unboxings with them and you can go look if I remember to link them down below. I will because if you're a person like skincare I mean I feel like for the mature women for the mature woman over 50 you've got to get a good skincare regimen you have to because you know it's it's you know besides age taking its toll environment takes its toll and you know and our diet takes its toll if you're not eating properly or you're under eating you're, it's just going to show up on your skin you're going to see wrinkles deep creases dryness your hair getting all funky because of lack of nutrition if you start you know dieting improperly you're going to see like that's what's gonna go the skin and the hair because it's an organ the skin is the largest organ in your body so if your organs are going to have issue it's going to be something like your skin because Heart, liver, kidneys, we need those things. They're more, your body knows the importance of certain organs versus other certain organs. So yeah, it's gonna be your skin, your hair, your nails. You see people brittle, you know. That's why it's good to have collagen. It's, just, it's really good. But that's a whole other video. But I just wanted to come on and say hello and welcome you to the day. I will insert my breakfast and then maybe we'll do a little vlogging from the office. Um, I may go to Target because it's right across the street. I could practically walk there. <laughs> I've mentioned that before. Steve's office is across the street. So I may run into Target because there's a couple things I wanted to look for. So I may run into Target. We'll see how I feel. I was going to do it yesterday. I did not feel like going. I didn't. I <laughs> just, well, yes, I didn't know I was going in. So it was kind of a spur of the moment. So I just wasn't mentally prepared to go in. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now I knew last night that she wasn't coming. So I mentally prepared myself. I, you know, the dog's doing okay. He has, and that's another another reason why I didn't want to go. He's been having such good days, and I know part of it is because he's with me, and you know I'm taking my time with him, and I'm you know kind of babying him, yes. But because oh, we have a we have a thing to do all day Saturday, and I'm so nervous that he's going to be alone all day. But Peter will be home, so eventually. So I'm going to end this little portion here and I will catch you 
um, at the office. We won't tell Steve we're vlogging. Shh, it'll be our secret, okay? Breakfast this morning is a half of a homemade Rise and Shine Suburban Homestead English Muffin with a tablespoon of my new favorite jam, Good Good. I am obsessed with this jam. I tried the Chia Smash everybody raves about. I didn't like it. I didn't think it was too thin for me. This, my lovelies, is what it's about. And you get two tablespoons for one point, five calories per tablespoon, and it is phenomenal. Vegan, gluten-free, keto-friendly, made with natural sweeteners. It's fantastic. I get it on Nutrition. I've never had black currant, and I, I'm hooked. So, yes, I think I've, you know been obsessed with this jam and I have three quarters of a cup of egg whites with some mushrooms two asparagus spears a little mini bell pepper and some onion so my breakfast comes to four points it's three for my English muffin one for my jam 190 calories 23 grams of carbs 20 grams of protein and seven grams of fat so that is my breakfast this morning I have to go help my husband in his office I'm not thrilled about it so I needed something quick and this is what is on the menu this morning. So I'm going to eat, grab, jump in the shower, and run. Need that green tea to get this morning started. See, like this is the Duncan. Steve's office is right over there, and Target is right over there. So we need to go to Target, I think. Allison hooked me up with some good new food finds, so I might have to go in there. Alrighty, we're here, like I said, and Duncan is just right over there. Back the car, and I will show you the front of the office. See, right there, hearing that. It's the second, it's next to the peak. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna go to work. <sighs> Maybe I should charge him more. I think I'm worth more than minimum wage. What do you think? See, what's great about me is I could tell off the boss. I could tell him where to. This used to be a shopping bag. I always say that would be a great place for a Trader Joe's. We've actually um, mentioned it to them because, oh my God, it'd be fantastic. But here we are. Steve works right next to a pool store and wine and spirits and a really good hoagie place called Pal Joe's. Okay. And his urgent care that he goes to is right there on the same shopping center. All right, my lovelies. Time for working with D. Oh, look at the big rubber duck. Let me show you the rubber duck in the pool store window. There he is. That should be my thumbnail. I think it might. All right, we'll go in. Here we are inside the office. See what I mean by the tropical theme? There's just, you'll see more. That's, you know, it's Christmas. The poinsettias do well in this office. We can never figure out why, but they do. Must be the temperature. It's outside the shopping center. See? Tropical things. There's the counter. That's where I sit, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, I know, but yes, lots of tropical. These are all live plants. That's a live plant. This monster is a live plant. There's one over there. They just seem to thrive here. Anything that has like five o'clock and paradise and tropical stuff. Let's see if likes to put in here. So yeah, here's all the little hearing aid accessories. Say. Batteries and oh, that's his little people who give good reviews. He posts them there and here's all the little accessories and stuff. But yeah, this is Steve's home away from home. Now that's a fake plant. That one is fake. But these are all real. Sometimes we have little water fountain running. I don't think it's running today. Hmm. It looks like it's, there's no water in it. I guess it's, maybe it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, I don't come here very often. Can you tell? <laughs> but yeah, this is our favorite thing. We got this at a closeout sale. 
It's like a room divider. It has like um, palm and I don't even know what you call these things. I thought it was cute. This little divider. Magazines. Pretty picture. Starving artist sale. <laughs> but yeah. That's your tour of the office. All right. Brought my snack with me. This is a five point Aloha bar. It is 220 calories, 15 grams of 14 grams of protein, um, 23 grams of carbs. It is the maple and sea salt. So, because I had like breakfast, so I need a little something, something. So, call me my snack today. Oh, freaking. <laughs> okay, used to this. You recognize the bullet? Let's see what we can find that's on our list at the Target. On my way to the food, I passed this. I got this as a sample. It is a face sunscreen and it is fantastic. Not even greasy. Looking for the fancy fling pop tarts that Lisa Lillian was talking about. And here they are. I thought they'd be in the protein section. I don't know why, but this is where they were at. And I got the I got one to try. And here is the bars. There's all different types of bars here. Now, there are bars that are just bars, and there's bars that are protein bars. Like, say, Lara bars, they are not a protein bar. They're a bar. So you if you're looking for protein bars, check the amount of protein in your bar. I would say don't get a bar that has less than 10 grams of protein if you're looking for a bar for protein. There's so many different types of bars. Like, some are just glorified granola bars. And if you're looking for a protein bar, Check the amount of protein because that, if you're looking, say, looking for maximum amount of protein, that's what you're looking for. So this is good and gather. I didn't realize they had protein bars. So maybe I picked up a box of those. You just never know. They were a good price and 12 grams of protein. Here we are in the protein section and they had the cookies today. You believe it? They had the cookies. But I didn't need them. But I thought I'd show you because, you know, we have to make this, you know, trip a little bit fun. Oh, yeah, Bear Bells Peanut Caramel. Oh, I've never heard of those bars. Have any of you heard of those Wise bars? I've never heard of them. So we're looking around. A lot of Fit Crunch and the Quest bars and the Pure Proteins and the Legendary Foods. <laughs> My favorite. I did not get any of those. but And they have a nice selection of chips, all different brands. And then, yes, I love these from Quest. Oh my gosh, the candy is fantastic. Look at these spicy crackers and puffs. Have any of you ever tried those? I've never had the puffs or the spicy crackers, but I've had the regular crackers and I absolutely love them. All right, I'm going to show you what I picked up at Target. It was three things. They sell individual poppies. So I don't know if I've ever had the ginger lime, but I wanted to try it because I do really like poppy. Probably one of my favorite prebiotic sodas is poppy. I prefer it over any of the other ones I've tried. I didn't like Olipop, but I do like poppy. So I'm going to try this one. It's 20 calories and it does scan at one point. Honestly, I'm not really concerned about that. But this is why I went in there. These. These are flings. Um, Allison mentioned that these were something new and I've never heard of them. You get four pastries. They have one gram of sugar, five grams of net carbs, 10 grams of protein. It's like a Pop-Tart. I like pop tarts. So 150 calories. So I thought that's not bad. And, the, and you'll see in the video. Let me push you to the video. Yeah, don't watch the video before. You saw in the video the price of these. I thought that was a really good price. They only had these, and they had strawberry. So I prefer the cinnamon, but I, I'm not, I'm up to trying the strawberry. And these were. I was looking for the protein donuts from Fiber One. Is it? I think. Well, they didn't have them. I think Walmart's the place. But I saw these Good and Gather protein bars. I've never seen these, but they only have ingredients. They kind of remind you of those bars that just doesn't have much in it. Dates, egg whites, cashews, pecans, natural flavors, sea salt, and maple. Maple water. What is maple water? I don't know. Maybe maple water is, but that's what it says. And they, they scan at six points. Where is it six? I wrote it. Yeah, six points. 220 calories, which is, you know, it's a lot of calories for a bar. So six points makes sense to me. You get 12 grams of protein, 22 grams of total carbs. Let's see the size of them. So we'll, you'll see these all in a tasting. I'll probably taste these sometime in the next couple of days. I don't think I'll be able to fit in this video because I don't. Let me first see how big these are. 
square. I mean, not terribly big, but it's an interesting. I thought it was interesting to try, so I think these were not, they weren't a bad price, but I thought they were fun to try. They had a couple different flavors, but yeah, and I showed you the whole selection of bars. That were there, that's all I got. Mini little haul. Actually, I went for these when they had them, so I was happy. So that is my little Target find. All right, here's a little girl lunch today. Cucumbers, radishes, carrot chips, homemade hummus with a little eggplant on top, string cheese, two hearts of palm, and some turkey. It comes to four Weight Watcher points, 276 calories, 23 grams of carbs, 22 grams of protein, and 11 grams of fat. Is my lunch today. Since I had that bar, I'm not quite starving, but I definitely need a little something something. So that is my lunch. All right, a little update on the Bailmeister. So far, so good. He is taking a full Pepsid AC and anti-nausea medicine. And he's been, oh, and she's also put him on a probiotic. I sprinkle it in his dinner. Right, Murph? Say hi, hi, and say thank you all for all your thoughts. Bailey. Thank you for thinking about me and wishing me well. Bail, bail. Bailey. Bailey. Who is that? There he is. And we, so we've had three good days in a row. Okay, not for him. He's, and I just wanted to show you, look at the deal. Oh, since we've had such nice weather, she's been out all week. And she's really taken off now. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited to have a nice pot full of fresh dill. Oh, we'll be making pickle everything. I'll update you on the mint. I did weed a lot of it out. You can see how that's coming along. So, yeah, we're going to have a mint, a bed of mint. We're going to have a pot of dill and a little bailey. Yeah, we just cleaned this deck. Birds, man. Oh, looky, looky, looky. Looky over here. Ah, oh, there she is. There's the bunnies. Sweet. That's Bailey's outside kennel. I will tell you, there have been many a baby bunny nest in there. We got it just to have a place for them if we needed to lock them in the yard. We very rarely use it. Right here he is. Say thank you. Thank you for all your wishes. I'm not any worse. I'm a little bit better. Have three good days. All right, that's enough of him. Soft taco dinner tonight, 13 points, 676 calories, 53 grams of carbs, 41 grams of protein, and 38 grams of fat. There's chips there you didn't get to see because I had them after, so that's why the points and calories are a little bit higher than they should be. But dinner was absolutely delicious. Well, that is it for me. Short little quick little day in the life. Yes, I worked, I shopped, and I made tacos. They were good. I have to go over, um, I have to voice over because I didn't have a chance to point them out. I knew they're fine, but I need to give you the correct information. So I will go voice over that. And thanks for spending the day with me. I had to change my shirt. Why, you ask? I got greens all over it. I was taking my green supplement right down the front of me. It came out what it is but thanks for watching if you enjoy these days and like let me a big old thumbs up comment below something you want to try at the from the Target I will update you on the bars and the pastries when we try them we definitely will be trying them in the next couple of days so that'll be in my Tuesdays what I eat in a day a little tasting so that is it thanks for joining me have a great rest of your day if you are new here welcome and if you're not you hit that subscribe button turn to share dish with you we are the healthy lifestyle channel a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So, ta-ta for now, my lovies. There may or may not be another video tomorrow. I'm not sure. We'll see uh, what the day brings. But more likely not, but you never know. And we might vlog the ordination on Saturday. We'll see. That will be on the other channel anyway. So, thanks for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for, you know, being here and watching. I appreciate it. And I will dish with you another day. Thank you so much.